lockers were on the perimeter of the room and we had a huge kill zone outlined in red tape. It was gigantic. I've heard that other people had kill zones, but ours was like the majority of the floor. Kill zone? Yeah, it's like a space in the room where we're not allowed to walk. And if a drill sergeant comes in and catches you in that kill zone, you're like dead meat. In your own bay? Yeah. That fucking blows. We had the old bay to ourselves. No, we had yeah. a lot of open space. The only space room. we could have What battalion did you come from? Me? Yeah. 213? Yeah. Yeah, we came from 213, and the way our barracks are set up is like there's different bays. It's the same thing with the perimeter. Yeah, but there's their own is like wide open space. Right, this... Ours is just like a room that is like stacked with like oh, right, you see 30 how fat. Beds, you see how long this like is? 60 people. It's like a, two of these widths. No, our um, our barrack, our barrack was or our bay. We call them bays. Our bay was huge. What the hell did they kill them for? It was huge, but they were dicks, and like <laughs> so much of the floor was only allowed for drill sergeants. This, <laughs> this floor is lava. That's great. It was it was a really big room actually. Did you get a lot of space to walk though? Oh, uh, you had like a little tiny spot like this big. It was like a lane. I mean, it was probably. They stuck in the lane. It was probably, like, it was probably like five feet wide. I mean, it wasn't like we had trouble getting around. The, uh, so, someone had trashed your shit. And they so... throw it in the kill zone. <laughs> they would throw it in the kill zone so we couldn't hit it. I knew it. Yeah. Dude, you know, uh, you know how they tell you. Uh, our boot display, our boot display was on the floor, which is not how a lot of your guys yeah. work. Ours <laughs> is on top of our lockers. And we were told Ooh. to. Uh, you have to tie your boots. Yes, you have to tie it like you wore it. Yeah, mm -hmm. you, you have to tie it like you're wearing it. Even the the like the yeah, OCPs. Yeah, would get fucked for that one. Yeah. OCPs, you have to dress it right, dress right, dress, button parade it up, rest. parade rest inside your locker, and so, it goes for everything that is inside your kill your uniform locker. So we were supposed. So I come upstairs one day, and I never get my shit fucked up with because I'm usually I usually my stuff organized. But I come up and I didn't tie the the boot laces. And so there's a huge pile of brown boots in the middle of the kill zone, like this high. It's like half of everybody's <laughs> boots. And they all look the same. And if you didn't write your name on the inside of them, you were effed. You were I was so upset. I grabbed two pairs of nine and a half wides and I ran. I didn't know if they were mine or what, but I mean it was it you was still have them? horrible. Yeah, the same boots I had now. They could have been mine. They could have been somebody else's. That, I don't know. We had um, well, we had but two... naked people stealing each other's glasses too. Yeah, I fu we had to wear this fucking eye probes in basic training, and you can't take them if off. If you don't have, if you have the glass lens, if your sh eyes are shitty, they have glasses in inside them. the lens. So if someone steals it, you're fu You're blind the whole time. I'm we glad. had we had one private that is only wearing the insert. The whole time. Taped up to his fucking like, oh forehead. My Bro, God. There, was a guy, there was a guy who did that. His name was... Uh, uh, That's Ku. His name was Ku. He was fucking Chinese. And no he, shit. <laughs> DIY. I, I was walked see up with to, it. I walked up to him and was like, hi Ku. So, hi, um, Ku. yeah, there's this... Uh, I got this one story also from I basic training. Um, one of my battle buddies left their lockers open. And that is not a wise thing to do when you're basic training. Guaranteed all your shit removed. So <laughs> that week, for free. That week, for free. we receive our equipments. For oh free. no! So that means your rucksacks, your tents, your IOTVs, your um, your ACH, e tool, your e fucking tool. So what happened was um, he left like he left his uh, locker open, and the the drill sergeants that were on training just came back from training. So what they did was they raided the bay, and his locker was the only locker that was open. They live for that stuff. Yes, they and what they did stuff. was they opened up the tent and actually took their time and fucking built the tent and threw all of his shit inside the tent. He threw everything inside the tent. So the tent was laying literally... Ooh, sexy. It was literally laying in the middle of the bay with all of his shit inside that fucking tent it was glorious that's awesome they, they took their time and they made a little art piece and you know what the first sergeant told him to do it <laughs> this guy was putting covers around the side of his bed because he didn't want the light in then he said he made a spank tank and then um, a spank tank <laughs> yeah we had we <laughs> had um we have a lot of people that are having troubles with making their beds 
Hospital corners. Not the easiest 45 skill to learn for some people. I did not learn that for six weeks. I promise so, you. So, what happened was, um, <laughs> I don't know if it was 3rd platoon or 4th platoon. Take it you weren't into origami. They, <laughs> they had to take origami one origami. bunk bed all the way outside the company, along with the fucking locker and drawers outside. And literally, the drill sergeants... What kind of douchebag sergeants did you have? The drill sergeant took their time and taught the whole platoon on how to keep your lockers squared oh, away. It's a mental, no. it's a mental game they're trying to mess with You know what our drill sergeant did? All he did was grab our one guy's bunk by himself and he just, <clears throat> like one pull, had it in the middle of the room. And he's like, okay, I want to teach you how to make shit correctly. All drill sergeants talk like that. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. It's then, either they have their hats in front of their fucking face, like not even like parallel to the the marching surface, or they have it correctly. You, you get have one of those. One tutorial of everything. There's no repeats. And they're and they're all nice about it. They're like, listen, guys, this is how you do it, <laughs> step by step. It's so simple. They go so fast. And then they stop and they're like, all right, go ahead, give it your best shot. And then you do it like just minorly wrong, and they're like, ah, "We're so trying to do it. What is wrong with you? Why can't you follow step by instructions?" <laughs> and that's BCT. And then you and then, have, then, have right the whole company. What What's great about it is like, don't take it too personal, because the day that I go home, I think about how to fucking diss you guys the next day. Oh so, man, they always do that shit. I almost cried. Oh, the drill sergeants? I yes. never cried in basic training. This sergeant came, drill sergeant came into the room and said, I own you! The army owned you! I let out a whimper. I was in the <laughs> front lean rest position. I was like, huh. <laughs> <laughs> I damn near cried, bro. I look, I look in front of me, there's this big beef uh, guy. Uh, a him. beef guy? Yeah. There's a big beef He's guy. He's about to be a captain, right? So I'm looking at him, there's tears rolling down his cheeks. I'm like, oh, <laughs> so um shit i forgot about it um, you just can't let it get to you yep don't like let it get if to you. and believe me there were times when i was really stressed out i was like i don't know how to handle this like i everything that's happening right now sucks like the thing that really sucked is when they made us pour out all of our shit we inventoried at, oh, intercept, yeah, at, at yeah, a reception yeah. and um Put it in a duffel bag. And I just, I, you just have to go somewhere else. Like, you have to literally become numb. You just got to be like, you know, whatever. Like, this sucks. I'm just going to, I'm going to get with it. I'm going to get sucky with it. The sergeants at receptionists are the shitty sergeants that got stuck there. No, I like ours. Ours are jo- cool. No, some of them suck at their job, and they, they can become cool. But most of the people who go there either got sharp, or they said some vowel shit that they shouldn't have said, or they try to act on like violence. Which would totally happen to me. So. Which they, they get stuck in reception. So you're gonna have a lot of dicks in there just spreading a bunch of false shit to you and trying to bring you down. Oh yeah, and uh, make sure you don't fucking write letters to females. Yeah. Did oh you do my that? god, no. no. I would was... expect that from you, you no. Romeo. <laughs> they, no. they were sliding so, notes yeah. under the door, love yep. notes. Bro, we almost all had to go have, have you guys ever been smoked by the intercom? No. Oh, we did PT by the intercom. <laughs> in our room. <laughs> they no, literally, <laughs> attention, all privates, attention, all privates. Front leaning position, move. Uh, but what's funny is once you get to know your drill sergeants <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> they're and, really funny. Like, yeah, like, the, like, it's almost like a game for them after a while. You can tell, like, who can say the most asinine shit to the soldiers. <laughs> and sometimes they come up with some really good stuff. And it's so, like, mean and effed up that it's hilarious. I actually have a story about that one. Um, I think it was like the last week of, no, it was before FTX, like Vic Forge. We went to the PX for the final, actually that's like the second final haircut. We went to the, B, the, the PX to get all the necessities we need for Vic Forge. <laughs> There's this one guy that bought a nail clipper <laughs> and literally like the drill sergeant was going through his basket and he was like, he took the fucking nail clipper and he was like, do you think this will defend you from fucking boars? <laughs> <laughs> this shit will not work. You will be eaten by boars. And why the fuck do you have a Bible? Can't you just go to church and get Bibles? What are you, secretly Mel Gibson? Yeah, <laughs> they, they get creative with it. Yep, I, liked, uh, I liked when we were practicing for a graduation, and one of my favorite drill sergeants, drill sergeant, I'm not going to say his name, uh, but... Uh, he First was like, drill sergeant. he was like, all right, soldiers. So, 
We're gonna run through this because I know that you guys are gonna fuck it up constantly. So, you know, we're gonna try to get it run perfectly so that it looks halfway decent. He's like, all right, so, and then he's telling us the layout of the room. He's like, your dumb fucking parents are gonna be sitting over here. So this is the way you're gonna take up one stage. And I just thought it was so hilarious. You got like just... crossing families in a flight. He's like, your dumb, your dumb families will be sitting over here. So you're gonna be walking around and get on the stage this way. It was great. Yeah, it, was good. it was great. They got one of them has a dog with them. <laughs> yeah. They just like called everyone's family dumb in one fell swoop. It was super powerful. And what's great about that is like before the graduation, like the family <laughs> day. <laughs> family day. If your parents and your family members don't leave, they will smoke you right in front of them. They would. I don't give a fuck what uniform you wear. Yeah. <laughs> I miss our defect. I miss our defect at basic uh, because it was it was a, there was a lot more room in there. Bacon was open. and you always had a seat because you only had ten minutes to eat before you got your ass yeah, kicked 10 out. Minutes? We yeah. literally had three and a half minutes. Well, at the beginning, right? No, the whole time. The whole fucking three time. Three and a half minutes. Three and a half minutes. Damn. You golf that shit down, or you're not eating. How do you eat? We, this is how you yeah. eat. All right. Well, you anyways, in sandwich. basic training, what happens? You eat it and you shit it. That's it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's the way of they life. Said, you get to enjoy your food when you get out of here. That's what they told us. Oh. They said, don't even taste your food in basic training. You're gonna eat the shit and get out. You don't need to taste it. You just need to swallow it. Exactly. That's what they yep. said. Same goes for MREs. Get in, get out. Yeah. And then we had this one drill sergeant that was fucking scary. Like literally, if he catches you without your ACH strap on. He will fucking take that ACH and fucking chuck it right across the field and you have to fucking low crawl and high crawl for that shit. You know what's fun? Okay. I really like the low crawl. It's pretty quick. Ass. Join the military just so you can hear a bunch of ETOLs fall at, <laughs> and, and hit the ground at night at an FTA. All you hear is one of my ETO. And a bunch of like, one hit a tree. It's like, Ka-ching! you can see the sparks. What are they doing? Throwing them? Yeah, they threw all of them. What? I I, saw, I had my ETOL out. I started hearing shit go down. I stuck my hand out my foxhole. I grabbed it from the floor. And I went like, Ooh. They were just chucking all your ETOL suit to find them in the morning? Yeah. And if you lose it, pay $70. That's amazing. And it's not just that. If you fall asleep while you're pulling guard, they will fucking take your weapon. If they find out you fall asleep. See, I was smart. I calculated when my, sergeant, my drill sergeants come. And they really didn't come around a lot. So... I just told me and my uh, bow buddy, don't do this because it's, it's bad if you're infantry. But I'm 25 Bravo. So I went to sleep all the time. That's just me. I'm fucking lazy. Yep. It's nice. It's Oh, man. You heard it here first. And um, you fucking hallucinate too. You do if you do not go to sleep like I do. <clears throat> I, I do. Go to you sleep actually all the time. don't if you're not crazy. Hmm. Oh, you, man. You, you hallucinate. See, I did PT to stay up in the morning. See, like we a, didn't do PT. No, like, no, literally at two o'clock in the morning. FTX. I did it myself. I tried to do the fucking V ups. I passed out on the floor. <laughs> like drill sergeant walked right past me. Didn't even know I was on the floor. Yeah. Yep. Trees becomes drill sergeants and people moving, waving back and forth. Fuck that. Why didn't you sleep after that point? <laughs> I couldn't, we couldn't sleep because it was 100% security, which means everybody has to stay up. Why? And, what time were it? And what it? happened is, like, the first sergeant, the captain, um, the first lieutenant are roaming around with the drill sergeants. Wait. And they're firing the this? fucking... They're firing M4s with blank rounds. So this it. is the last one? Yeah. So literally, if you see someone... If you see someone walk in the field, you're supposed to say, how, who goes there? Yeah. And if they don't answer, you fucking fire your weapon. Exactly. Unless your drill sergeant's like drill sergeant Hantak, or this motherfucker is apparently great imagination because every time he shoots, he's getting headshots. I see him shoot the guy at the entrance for not saying, halt, who goes there. I saw him shoot three more people in the front. I don't even have bullets. They didn't give me bullets. I ran out of bullets, right? I'm just sitting there like, oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. And my friend's like shooting back and he gets shot, put my weapon up in the air, sunk, sank down in my foxhole and just sat there while I heard bullets fire off. I was like, oh, I can't do anything. Just laid there. So anyways, this video is up to 30 minutes already. I don't even know if YouTube is going to let me upload it. So Podcast we'll see. We'll see how it goes if it allows me to post it.
Peace. Peace.